Hello, friends. We are here in this beautiful, beautiful day. It's a Sabbath. It's the seventh day of the week, the Saturday, the, the holy day that God gave to us to worship him, worship the only God, the creator, that he created everything. He created the ocean. He created people. He created everything, every living thing. He created everything for us. And we worship him on this day. Today is also special because it's my birthday and I, I'm so thankful and I'm so happy because God gave us life. And here is uh, something my daughter gave it to me. It's a happy birthday. It's a crown to her about the happy birthday. So God gave us life. And I want to share with you so much that God loves us. He gave his only son to us. Let's say all together. John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yes. John 3.16. That's right. God gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I want to share with you also, we have a tree here in our house behind us. And I like this background because it's green and nice. The, the tree to thrive and to grow in its water, in its soil, in its light. And how about for us to, to grow? We need Jesus. We need the Holy Scripture. We need the Bible. We need to feed our minds with the, the Bible so we know more about God. And here's the Bible. We're going to use the Bible today to share some things with you. Some things that how much God loves us. And first, I'm going to show you how God made the man. In the beginning, God created man. He made it in his own image. That's right. We are made out, out of soil. It's like dirt. See? Here is a bag. Let me show the bag. Here we have a bag of soil. I'm sorry. A bag of soil. And God made the man. He made the man. It's like, well, it was a, a sticky soil out of uh, the dirt. He got the man out of the dirt. And he made it. And when we die and we are buried under the, the ground, we become, we become dirt again. Decompose. So... We were not supposed to die. God made us to live eternal life, but there was an intruder. It was an interference in our lives. And it came sin. Sin is very, very bad. Sin is so bad, so bad, that God had to give his only son to pay the price because the wages of sin is death. We were supposed to die forever. Never live again. But God said, I will give you my only son. So you have eternal life in me. In, in ourselves, we are nothing. We are less than a drop of water. We are nothing. We cannot worship human beings. We cannot worship a fallen angel, the devil. No. We cannot worship ourselves or idols or other or things. We can only worship the one that created us, the one that created everything. He's immortal. We are failures. We are sinners. But God, he's perfect. And he came here and, and lived a holy life. He gave himself for us. And he became sin for us. He became, he suffered in the cross. He knows what we going on, the traumas we go through. He, he feels our pain. And he said, I will wipe away all the tears of their eyes. I wipe away. I will give you eternal life, you believe in me. I will write my words in your heart so you don't sin against me. And God gave it to us his holy law. When he created everything in the six days, on the seventh day, don't be deceived. The seventh day yes. is not Sunday. It's Saturday. It is Saturday. God in the Bible say. The seventh day is the Sabbath day. It's Saturday. On this day, you don't do anything. You worship me. Remember 
I am your creator. I created everything. It's all about worship. It's all about worship. Who you want to worship? Do you want to worship the devil that changed the day for Sunday? No, we don't. We want an everlasting life with Jesus. So trust God. He knows better than we do. I'm going to read for you and I will give you two examples. I'll give you the examples of Jesus when he was in the desert and he faced temptation. He was tempted in the desert. And the third temptation, uh, the devil said to him, do you know this word? He saw everything. And they say, if you worship me, I will give you everything to you. Just worship me. And then, then, then Jesus had already overcome the other temptations. And this was the last one. And then Jesus said, it's written, you shall not, you shall not worship, you shall not worship um, others, only God. And then he said, then Jesus said to him, away with you, Satan, for it's written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve. So you only serve Jesus. Let's pray that we may only serve Jesus. I'll give you another example. I want to give an example about the Daniel. Daniel, he um, he had a dream, and he dreamed with a statue. And Nebuchadnezzar, he made a statue of gold. And the Daniel friends were three friends. The, the king said, you have to bow down in this gold image and worship. And the um, three, um, I give my life to Jesus. I would not worship idols. I know better. I know better that you only worship God. I cannot do this with my conscience. I, I want to worship only God. He, they did not bow down. And everybody bow down and they see three people standing tall. And they were young people. And they would learn about the scriptures when they were little. And then the king said, come here. I will give you another place. I'm, I'm so angry with you. I'm going to throw you in a furnace of fire. And I'm going to get it seven times high. Seven times, like, um, the fire is going to be burning seven times worse. If you don't worship, hotter. don't obey. Hotter. And then I say, you can... You can uh, put again, but we are not to worship uh, idols. I know God can deliver us from the fire, but even if he does not, even God, and they were thrown on the fire, and Jesus were there with them and delivered them from the fire. And every, all the nation knew, that there were God. so everyone must worship God, this God of the three friends of Daniel. So that's our decision today. Let's decide to worship the only God on his only day that he chose for us. He chose us to worship worship him every single day and now i'm going to read for you revelation 14 6 then i saw another angel flying in the middle of the earth jesus is coming again jesus is coming again and the uh, the word of God is going to preach to the whole world. And then Jesus will come. Why he did not came yet? Because the gospel needs to be preached to the whole world. He's giving another chance to us. He's giving. We are alive. We can make the decision to choose life, choose him, choose Jesus in our hearts. And it says, fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment. 
believing God and another angel followed saying Babylon is fallen is fallen that great city because she has made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication voice if anyone worships the beast and his image and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand him himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and bright storms in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, and they have no And whoever receives the mark of his name, here is the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. So we need to keep the commandments of God, not in our own power, but through Jesus that to do for us. We cannot save ourselves. We cannot even obey, but God can write in our hearts his words that we may not sin against him. Let him choose Jesus, choose heart. Because the image of the beast, the beast is Satan, and the image of the beast is those that change. It's not the day that God chose. He keep the commandments of God. Let's worship Jesus in his holy day. The sign of worship is the Sabbath. The Sabbath is the sign between his people. So if you don't know that the Sunday is a wrong day to worship, God is calling you. Because if you are alive, you can choose to choose to be faithful like like daniel and his friends later on daniel was praying and he was thrown with the den of lions later to pray only to god he does not want to pray and worship idols or people we should not worship the authority that changed the day because god is unchangeable his law are is perfect quickly obey we are sinners but God can can obey for us because he can live in us and make us strong on him. He can give us his Holy Spirit because he loves us. Like children, does he wants to give us? So we are going back to the dust until Jesus comes. There are two ways. There are ones that are living eternal life because they rest in Jesus. If we die, we're just asleep. We're going to sleep until I come to take you home with me. Jesus is coming soon. If we are alive, we're going to see him, him come more. I want to be there. I want to let be faithful to Jesus because he's the only one that saves us. And then the ones that did not choose is going to be so tormented. He's saying, I want the stones to fall on me because I cannot become where, where we behold. Look at the trees. Jesus said, I am the vine, and you are the you are gonna produce a lot of fruits. You're gonna be self-control. There is addictions, there are things that we cannot control. We need to take away the interference at our mind that uh, is harmful to our minds, eating things that are harmful to our bodies, addictions, many addictions. This all Jesus can heal. This all Jesus can take away if you only come to Jesus as you are, because we cannot change or purify us and take away the addictions, take away the cravings for bad things. He takes away all the addictions. So let's God. Okay, we're going to pray and uh, and um, give our hearts to the only God that we know. Let's pray. Dear Father, thank you so much because you bless us with your word. We bless us with your love. We bl you bless us with the, your son that you gave 